what's up what's good what's going on Sagittarius so let's take a look at the person on your mind let's see what it's, I'm primarily going to look at them as it pertains to you how they feel it what's going on in their thoughts how they feel about you just see what's shaking when it comes to this person so that you can either move forward or make your next move all right let's see so this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising North Node Venus as well as that ninth house guys very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for that ninth house um, but even with that being said, these are general messages. So please just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? All right, Spirit. So what's going on with the person on Sagittarius's mind? This person on Sagittarius's mind. What's going on? So we have, it's a karmic relationship, whoever it is. This is a karmic relationship. I do feel like that there is a certain level of intensity inside of this connection. But I do feel like that there is this energy of beginning to let go. Yeah, there's something definitely karmic here about this connection. But anyways, let's move forward. What's going on with the person on Sagittarius is my spirit. Um, we have the chaser. This person could have a fear of abandonment. Uh, we have sword and roses. Uh, yeah, and if you wasn't aware of this person's codependencies and fear of abandonment, this is something that's coming to light. True thing, there's a revelation coming to coming to light. Um, I feel like that. There's still a sense of determination that this person is giving off. Yeah, with pictures at the bottom of yeah, love, yeah. Wow, you can expect. I do feel like maybe not right now because this is at the bottom of the deck, so maybe not right now in this current energy. But I do feel I feel like that right now this person is in the sabotaging era of it. But I do feel like you can expect that whatever this person is currently sabotaging, or if you are experiencing this person sabotaging, it's like this person is gonna come back around to try to rebuild this. Um, because this person. Has, this person does have some type of codependencies that have to be healed. This person has some things going on with them, Sag. So, let's see. How is Sag know who this person is? You already know, but... Let's see. Show me a little bit into this person's spirit. So Sash can know exactly who it is that we're talking about here. Nine of Swords. This person definitely has a lot of mental anguish. Um, yeah, there's a Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person definitely sabotages shit. Who is this person, Spirit? Who is this person? Four of Cups. Someone feels like that they missed an opportunity with you. Uh, you feel like that uh, you missed an opportunity with them. Either way it goes, I feel like that there is some type of guarded, blocked off energy. I feel like that you're guarded off towards any action that this person... I do feel like that you blocked this person. I feel like that something has taken place. And I feel like that you're guarded against any action that this pays uh, from this person and this person does have a lot of anxiety and fear around whether they really missed out on this connection whether they really messed this opportunity up how does this person feel about Sagittarius how does this person truly feel about Sagittarius How does this person truly feel about Sagittarius? The Nine of Cups. I do feel like that this person, I'm not going to lie, this, per, I've, this person feel like they do feel like Sagittarius is wish fulfillment. But I'm going to say this, this person emotionally feels like that they fumbled the bag. They do feel like that they um, walk themselves right out of heaven. Damn. They came together quick. 
might need to uh, listen to that song. This person could be feeling that way. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more on their feelings. Yeah, the Six of Cups. There's something There's something about your connection. It's, it's like the, something just feels... I don't know. Seeing this man beside his dog, it's just like something just feels right. Something just feels like it was just... It just felt good. You know what I'm saying? Man's best friend. It just felt good. This person does feel like you were wish fulfillment. What obstacles does this person... Let's look at this person's challenges. What challenges are the, is this person facing as it pertains to Sagittarius? What challenges is this person having? There's definitely some obstacles. This person could be experiencing some sort of tower moment in their life that they're having to re um, reestablish stability from. And yeah, they could be very pessimistic and have a lot of negative thoughts about this right now. This person could, if I'm just being honest with you, this is someone that could have some mental illnesses here. If I'm just being honest, I'm not a doctor, so I can't diagnose anyone. But I do feel like that this is someone that could have an overwhelming anxiety as well. Like this person could over, like over analyze the situation, like to the point of diagnosis here. Yeah, two of swords. I definitely feel like that this person could have some sort of childhood trauma. But there's something nurturing. Like there's something about your energy that that very same child, inner child, loves. Their inner child does love you. It's like their inner, your energy is fulfilling to their inner child and their um, full grown energy. But their there's something about it that rebels against it as well. There's something about their mental space that sabotages this connection here. So what is Sagittarius' advice as it pertains to this person? What is Sagittarius' advice as it pertains to this person? What is Sagittarius' advice as it pertains to this person here? So we have the High Priestess to the Queen of Cups to the Page of Wands. I feel like that you're going to need to listen to your intuition and really tap into your higher self when um, there's some sort of communication coming in from this person. Um, really be mindful of the way that you're communicating here. Okay. What likely actions can Sagittarius expect from this person within the next five days? We have the Two of Cups to the Five of Cups. I feel like that this person is going to make some sort of offer to find the silver lining. Because in the just traditional Five of Cups, the Three of Cups is spilt over. But the task of the Five of Cups is to see that there are still two cups that are standing up. So when I've got the Two of Cups to the Five of Cups, I do feel like that this person is... Um, I don't know. This person could be soaking over, mourning over the loss of this connection, honestly, with the devil card at the bottom of the deck. This person could, you know, in the next five days, this person could just be obsessed into work. You know what I'm saying? They could be picking up extra hours, just picking up extra overtime or something like that. Really not trying to deal with this. Give me just a little bit of clarification on this five of cups here. Because of peace of me, what I was beginning to say is I do feel like that this person is eventually going to be finding the silver lining and making some sort of offer towards this two of cups. But um, maybe not in the next five days. Let's see with this uh, clarification here. So I do feel like that this person is eventually going to be making some sort of action towards you. But as of right now, I don't feel like that 
in the next five days in this current energy i don't expect that you can ex i don't think that you can expect too much from this person i feel like that there's this energy of saving up to seize an opportunity because it's like this person is preparing for there to be some obstacles there to be a little bit of chaos so i feel like that this person is just kind kind of like building up and preparing for the time the right time to seize this opportunity here but i do eventually feel like that you can expect some sort of action from this person upright for yes reverse for no yes yes it could be a capricorn here um yes i do um it in the next seven days yes yes but i was yeah but not right now not right now but i do feel like that you can begin to expect something maybe in the next seven days from this person give or take Sep uh, oh wow uh, ten of pentacles is september uh, 12th through the 22nd so maybe you can expect some sort of communication from this person around the 12th of uh, september the 12th in the 22nd and that's a little less than so one two three four five so right at five days so it's right in that time frame so within so i'm going to say six so about third about 20 days from now i'm going to say anywhere between six and 20 days honey six and 20 days between six and 20 days you will hear from this person for sure all right, Sag, I'm going to leave this message here, maybe. Let's get this person's subconscious thoughts for shits and giggles. What is this person's subconscious thoughts as it pertains to Sagittarius? What is this person's subconscious thoughts as it pertains to Sagittarius? It says, I don't react when people mention your name. I remember every detail. They remember every detail of whatever took place between the two of you all. It says, um, you don't know how hard it is for, for this person to let you go. Um, they wish they had treated you better. They left this. It's like this person closed out before you could leave them here. And then it says they lost themselves for a little while. That's that tower moment. Remember I said I feel like that this person could be undergoing some sort of tower. I do feel like that they, yeah, it's right here. It's their challenge here. I feel like that whatever is taking place here, it's like having to overcome these obstacles that are being placed within them because of some sort of tower moment. They are having to completely re-acclimate, re-identify themselves. So they did lose themselves because they were having to learn them, relearn themselves. So um, just keep that in mind whenever you do hear from this person, um, but still go based off of actions and not words, Sagittarius. I love you and I hope that this offered you some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Loving like Sag.